Jones. And now we have another caller. We have Marsha on the line from Hidden Hills, California. Hello, Marsha. Hello, Leo. Thank you in advance for your advice. Okay. My question pertains to spyware and iPhantom. I have two teens, and I've purchased many different types of spyware trying to get rid of it. Oh. And uh, I want to know which one you think is the best and which doesn't slow my machine down. And do I need a monthly subscription for iPhantom? You do if you want to do iPhantom. iPhantom is a, uh, it's kind of a unique way of doing this. And actually, it's what I use at home. It's a hardware device. It's about the size of a deck of cards. Uh, I've got a picture of it right here. And uh, it's, the problem is it's 90 bucks to buy and then 10 bucks a month after that. So you, are, you do pay a subscription fee for it. Um, it blocks spyware, viruses... Uh, it also it secures your uh, connection and it also anonymizes you. Um, and so it, it provides a pretty broad range of security features, but it's expensive. The advantage of doing it this way, by the way, is it can't, it can't be modified by software running your system. It doesn't slow your system down because it's not running on your system. There's no software involved at all. The, uh, it does slow your internet down a little bit because it has to go through their servers. It's about I would uh, I estimate about 20% slowdown. Although on today's fast connections, that's not particularly noticeable. I use it and I don't. It doesn't bother me. If I've got the two kids on routers with me, do I need to buy three of nope, one subscription? No, nope, no. Nope, nope. You put it okay. one one in between your router and your cable modem or your DSL modem, and that protects you completely. Um, I I'll tell you, I haven't gotten any spyware since I started using it. But uh, but all, you know, I'm always you know, I don't think there's any perfect spyware solution because these spyware guys are nasty. I mean, they're constantly trying to figure out ways around it. Now, what the way iPhantom works is essentially they're running antivirus and anti-spyware software at their servers, so they're filtering your stuff and then they keep it up to date. But it's software running on their servers, so there's no guarantee it's going to be 100 percent effective any more than anything you're running on your system is. I think it's probably a good idea to also, no matter what, whether you did this or not, run Microsoft Defender, which is Microsoft's anti-spyware program. It's free, microsoft.com slash spyware, and turn on the real-time protection that it offers. Now, we've done tests, and it does not slow your system down. Okay. It's interesting how Microsoft can write programs that don't slow your system down, but nobody else seems to be able to. I hate to ask you this, but is there any way to stop Microsoft or Explorer from giving you all those constant ads will well, yes. stop the pop-up? Yeah, well, stop using Explorer. Okay, use how can Firefox. I get rid of it, though? Well, you can't get rid of it, but you don't, only use it for the sites where you have to have it, like Windows Update. The rest of the time, you and your kids should all be using Firefox. That's, okay. I think, the single most important thing you can do to fight spyware. Now, look, Steve Gibson is here, the security whiz, and I know he has somewhat different uh, answers, so I'm going to let him give you uh, an opposing viewpoint. He uses Internet Explorer. I do. Um, I use the Google toolbar and use its pop-up blocker. Which is Pest Patrol, and it's a very good one. We, and I'd never have a, a problem with pop-ups. Oh, no, I'm sorry. That Yahoo uh, spyware is Pest Patrol. I, I think it's their own. I, I think yeah, they, they just own. did yeah, their yeah. own pop-up yeah. blocker. Um, you know, my advice to somebody with kids is give them their own machine. Let them screw their I mean, own machine up. I mean, really. And, and you're just going to have to scrape it off every yeah, few well, months. Yeah, well, that sounds good, but they never stay on their own machine. Yeah. Well, you're right. And um, Steve, have, Steve doesn't have kids, so he's, <laughs> oh, yeah, he's got illusions about what's possible. Yep. Yeah, I mean, the, the, the real problem is that people want scripting on websites. Now, websites are using scripting more and more. It was, it was, it's a really a mixed blessing because scripting is dangerous. Scripting is What's running scripting? code on your computer that some website downloaded into your browser to make the website better. That's why I don't use Internet Explorer, Marsha, because it supports mm -hmm. two kinds of programming uh, tools that I think are dangerous. One is ActiveX and one is ActiveScript. And those are the tools that most often spyware uses. They, to they are the worst system. ideas Microsoft ever yeah. had. So by but not using Internet Explorer... When you turn your computer on, when no, you turn your DSL no, on, not, doesn't Explorer no, automatically pop no, up? No, it's always running, but it doesn't surf out to the net. So if you don't go to those sites with Explorer, you don't get infected. So stop... I don't care what Steve says. He's crazy, but he's a security whiz. He knows how to protect himself. In, in, in fairness, the Service Pack 2 version of IE now warns you when a site is trying to do something that requires an ActiveX control. The problem is, again, it requires discipline. It, I've never had an infection because I don't let a site load that. But you can imagine that, that, that some Most kids that are using okay, their machine okay, is like, okay, okay, I guess maybe I have to do this. And right. so they, they, so they give it permission. Firefox, 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 Firefox. Okay, Firefox. No, Explorer, no Explorer, and uh, iPhantom. I think iPhantom is a very good solution. I have had yet to have any issues 
uh, with viruses or spyware at all since I've been running this. They also, you might, since you've got kids, they all, now I should say, I want a disclaimer because they do, as, and I think you know this because you're from L.A., uh, the uh, Southern California area, they do advertise on my radio show, so I do endorsement ads for them. I just want, as a disclaimer, one of the reasons I do is because I believe in the product. I wouldn't do it if, if I didn't. They also have a product called iBoss, which I've been using with my kids, that, blo that monitors Internet activity, blocks sites, blocks you know, it could turn off the internet at certain times of day. It I also love encrypts that. your connection, doesn't it? Yeah, from the iPhone, uh, from the iPhone unit into their server. Yep. So if you were using it, for example, a hotel traveler who was using wired I carry it with Ethernet, me. Yep. that would make a lot of sense. I carry it with me. It doesn't work for Wi-Fi unless you have some way of patching your Wi-Fi through it. But um, for a home, okay. you know, I mean, look, uh, it's more expensive, but I think it's more effective. The other choice would be to buy. Uh, and any, you certainly should have, an, without this, you should have an antivirus on each machine. You do need to have one on each machine. So that's going to end up costing, really, it's going to end up costing more. And the anti-spyware I recommend is Microsoft's, but there are other ones like SpyBot, Search and Destroy, and yeah, Adaware. Yeah, I bought those off. Yeah, Forget it. Don't they buy them. They blow the machine down, and they run into each other. And yeah. Well, the, I wouldn't buy any spy, any spyware, to be honest with you, because I think the free stuff is good yeah. enough. Yeah, it's yeah. not okay. perfect. Nothing's perfect. When you talked about uh, the, the uh, Microsoft, are you the Defender, is that the beta? Yeah, yeah, version? I think it's still in beta. They named it Defender because for a long okay. time the only name was Anti Spyware, which is so and generic that nobody knew and, what they were talking about. And then okay. in Vista, is it going to be built in or is it going to be a four, a, well, we four, don't know. a four charge service? We don't know. I mean, one of the things Microsoft's trying out is, and it really annoys me, is a monthly fee security service that will include their antivirus and their anti spyware. But frankly, I don't think Microsoft has uh, should be paying. We should be paying Microsoft to, to do what they problems. should have done in the first place. Yeah. So mm -hmm. Microsoft.com slash spyware is the uh, URL.